Less than 30 hours away from the trade deadline, the Rays have agreed to a deal to acquire starting pitcher Aaron Savale from the Guardians in exchange for their number four prospect, Kyle Mazzardo. The Rays were kicking around the idea of acquiring a starting pitcher for a while now, and we're looking at the Mariners before pivoting to the Guardians. You guys know the drill. Before we start, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'm expecting tons of trades going down tomorrow, so you won't want to miss any of the trades that go down. Alrighty, Aaron Savali. This season, he has a 2-3-4 ERA in 13 starts, 77 innings pitch, 58 strikeouts, and a 1.039 whip. In his career, he has a 3-7-7 ERA in 76 starts, 430 innings with 370 strikeouts and a 1.114 whip. Savali has never thrown more than 124 innings, and that was in 2021. He's always been injured up and down. Last season had a 4.92 ERA, 2021 uh, 3.84. He has the stuff to be a great pitcher. He has the makeup. And I think the Rays, who are really good at developing pitchers, are have somebody really to work with. He still has control for two more years. He'll be a free agent in the 2025 after the 2025 season and going into 2026. And he's only 28 years old. Now the prospect the Rays are giving up is very notable. In a strong farm system, their number four guy, Kyle Mazzardo. He's a first baseman, 23 years old, drafted in the second round of the 2021 draft. His scouting grades are a 65 hit, 55 power, 30 run, 45 arm, 50 field, overall 55. Last season in high A and double A, he hit 327 with 22 home runs and a 1.043 OPS. This season in triple A, he slowed down quite a bit, 238 average uh, with only 11 home runs. However, he has a 342 on base percentage. He's walking, he's walked 42 times to 65 strikeouts. Last season, 59 walks to 65 strikeouts. He gets the job done at the plate. He's going to hit 300. He's going to hit 20 bombs. He's going to get on base at a 380 clip. These are just going to be givens for Manzardo. If you're the Guardians, I really, really like the, the prospect you pick up here. All right. So overall for this trade, the Rays, you guys had to get something done. You had to improve your roster. The Orioles have taken first place, and the Rays, you needed starting pitching. And they were going to go out. They're not going to get a rental. They, they're, the Rays don't like that. They're going to get someone that's been volatile like Savali. They might you know, pay probably a little much for him, especially with control. And they're going to make him great. I really, really like the makeup of Savali. And I really think that he's going to thrive in the Rays organization. The Rays, you're going to get an A on this deal. And for the Guardians, you gave up on Savali. You guys have tons of... You didn't really gave up on Savali. You got a really, really, really for good first base prospect. You guys have Josh Naylor, though, um, who's probably going to DH now. You have Bo Naylor behind the plate. You're going to get Mazzardo. He's going to play first base every day for you guys. He's going to be an absolute stud in that lineup. I really like it. I'm going to give you guys a B plus. The only reason you guys get a B plus is you're getting a first base prospect. And to me, those are less valuable. But it seems to be a really, really good stud. But let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. As always, hit that like and subscribe. Come back later for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.